Hello. This is the final video of our series. I want to end this video on a positive note and share some fun things that you can do as a family that are not necessarily language related while you're in quarantine. As I mentioned in the previous video, you and your family deserve to have some fun times together and really enjoy yourselves with a lot of fun and laughter. There is a lot of fun activities that you can do as a family. Many of these you can find online in areas such as Pinterest, family-oriented websites, and many others. There are quite a few activities available out there. However, it's important to keep in mind when looking for activities how you can make modifications if you're not able to sign well. For example, you could print some pictures as a way to give instructions or explain what you need. For example, a scavenger hunt. Instead of having a checklist with words, you could have a checklist with pictures. And the whole family can easily follow those picture checklists. You could, maybe with older kids, make a map with pictures outlined for them to find certain things, clues, or perhaps to go find one clue and then go to a different area for another clue and use pictures that way. Those types of things can be used. Uh, pictures, gesturing, and pointing. Another one that's really easy is follow the leader. Have kids copy you. That's another modification that you can use. You can teach turn taking by pointing at them. Your turn, my turn, very easy. So if you take the time, a few extra minutes, to take a look online for different activities, you can easily come up with different ideas to modify it where minimal communication, if any, is required. There are several games out there that do not need verbal language or sign language. For example, charades. I remember at the very beginning, I had mentioned that. Twister is another example. Don't break the ice. It has a board with the different ice cubes that you hammer away at and turn take. Bingo is another option where you can just simply show the number. Jenga with the blocks is another one. Another game for younger kids is something like Candyland, where they have the cards with the different colors that match what they're supposed to do doesn't require sign language. Shoots and Ladders is another example of a game that shows numbers. Memory games they oftentimes have those little memory cards that you flip over and then you check and see if you can make a match. Let's Go Fishing. That's another game with the little fish that open their mouth and bob up to the surface and they have different colored fish that you can fish for. Really good for younger kids and learning their fine motor coordination as well as learning colors and turn taking. It's a fun game to do. For some of the older kids, Pictionary, different card games, Connect, Checkers, Perfection, those are all games that don't require language. 
You can also create homemade games, such as using plastic cups and toss washers into. You can use cardboard boxes with holes to toss maybe a small ball or bean bag into. You can play hot potato. There's quite a few different turn-taking games available out there. They're short and simple. Another activity rather than a game that you can do indoors include puzzles, simple crafts such as making slime or play-doh, painting rocks and use those to decorate your yard, stacking cups to make a pyramid, having a Lego competition, or use boxes to create race cars. Maybe a fort or a dollhouse. Several things can be created. You can have a drive-in movie with all of your boxcars that you've created and watch a movie together. Blowing bubbles is another activity you can do together. Making a calming jar. That's when you take different types of objects with water and oil and you can tip it upside down. It can be a very calming activity. Baking. That's a really fun way to spend time together as a family. You can find some recipes online with pictures added. They can be simple recipes for your children to cook or bake with. Playing freeze dance with the lights. That's where everyone dances. And then when the lights go off, everyone has to freeze in place. And then as the lights come back on, they start dancing again. And if they mess up, then they're out. It's a really fun game. And many of our kiddos really enjoy that game. Take lots of pictures together. And make a scrapbook. There's quite a few different indoor activities available. For outdoor activities, if possible, I know some of you may live in an apartment or an area where a yard is just not available. So one example would be stargazing, doing a gardening project together. And if you're unable to, you could also plant flowers in a pot together, plant those seeds. That's another form of gardening. Do sidewalk chalk art. Washing a car. There are quite a few different water activities for you to choose from. Hopscotch is another activity. Hide and seek. Relay races, or you can uh, use a balance beam, tug of war, which sounds fun, outdoor bowling, and you can easily use cans like canned vegetables and line those up. You could even paint them and then bowl using a ball that you have at home. You can fly a kite together. You could even go camping in your backyard. You can set up an obstacle course. There are so much more available. I could go on and on. Be careful, though, not to overwhelm yourself with everything online because there are a lot of activities out there available that could easily suit your family's needs. The internet can be overwhelming at times in trying to decide what to choose. What's important is to keep it simple 
Don't stress yourself out trying to find the very best activity. Keep it simple. Don't fret if the child is not engaged with it or isn't interested. It's, for how, it's possible they don't understand uh, the instructions or the reasoning behind it, and you can always make changes to something else that the child enjoys doing. The important thing is having fun and having laughter together. That's the most important component. Remember, laughter is good for the soul. It's good medicine. Thank you for joining me throughout this series. Good luck. Wishing you well and be safe.